Hey, what's up, everybody? Okay, hold on. Before you answer that, I'll tell you what's up. Update 6 for Blade and Sorcery. And guys, whew, boy, did it look good. Alright, so we got improved features, new features, um, new weapons, improved weapons. Pretty much, oh, where did I go? <laughs> pretty much, Cosby has made Update 6 everybody's early Christmas present. And we all love early Christmas presents. So, without further ado guys, we'll jump right into this, and I'll show you guys everything that's in Update 6. Hey Yang Bang, what about that one feature you had to go buy trackers for? Oh yeah, any added feet tracking. Check this out guys. Hiya! Hey, what's going on everybody in Blade and Sorcery? Okay, you're probably wondering why I'm spinning around in a circle. Alright, so, an old phrase, I, I don't know if it's an actual old phrase, I'm just making it up, but every time you polish the knife, a part of it will always stay dull. And for it, this instance, Blade and Sorcery 6 has been polished exquisitely. I don't know if I said that right. But the part that got dulled out was the Vive controllers. Okay, ooh, I'm getting dizzy. Alright, so one thing now is the buttons have changed. So instead of turning, used to be on my left. That's right, Yang. Okay, my bad. <clears throat> so on my right controller, it used to be touch, I'm sorry, push sensitive to, you know, make me turn around and whatnot. But now it's all just touch sensitive. And for some reason, I think I've hit a wall too many times. My touch pads are a little janky. So now it, I can only... I can only do smooth snap turning, and sometimes it just stays in perma twist. So I'll just boogie out like I'm doing disco for a little bit. But it it's not a killer. It is a little bit of a bummer. But eh, you know that means I just got to update to that uh, Valve Index. But anyway, okay. So uh, that's like the first major change. The book and Salomo are now a touch of a button on the touchpad, which it's different. I just kind of have to relearn it. A few times I was fighting and I'm like, Haha! Prepare yourself! And then I would proceed to read them a story for some reason. But, like I said, just gotta relearn the controls. Um, the grippings. Alright, so there's no more like, uh, uh, there used to be like, particular grab spots on weapons. But now, you can just grab them. And you can also do, well, some gestures. Put your hands up. Ta-da! But um, I'll show you guys why this is important when I take the camera over there. Ah, oh, see, look, that's important. I can point to things now. So over there, guys. Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on, camera. You're not supposed to go way up there. Gee, okay. Fine. I I'll go up there. No, oh, stupid camera. I'm trying to record this video for people, and you wanna go way on top of the stands? I'm not even up there. Ah, I gotta climb this thing. What do you think I'm a monkey or something? Don't move, camera. I'm coming. Alright. There. There, camera. Is that better for you? Oh! Okay. So, the hands. Now it's all just free climbing, guys. As long as there's an edge for you to grab, you just climb, you know? Just hold on to those babies and, you know, come here, pull. This is not. Pole dancing, this is a uh, pole climbing, it's different. Woo! Ooh, I cried a kick! Whoosh. Okay, and as I kind of teased earlier, update 6 about his feet tracking. Oh, hold on. Pointer fingers. Ta da! Look at that. Da 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 So, pretty much. I think that was loud. Sorry, guys. So, pretty much now. You can have your feet, and you can actually kick your enemies. So what I'll do right now, I'll demo just a little quick wave. Have some enemies come in here, just do a little kung fu on them, and uh, just show you guys what that's all about. All right, uh, this is a real kind of unorthodox video. I just kind of want to really show update six. It's the coolest, newest thing. So we'll just do wave one. Uh, yeah, we'll just get that going for us. And, you know, the funny thing is, I didn't have trackers before this game, and I didn't really think I ever would need them. But this time, I was like, you know what? 
Why not? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's come back over here. Alright. Come on. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Now this game will have you prone to kicking walls and breaking your toes. So make sure you guys play with the uh, shoes. Spartan kick. Let's go. Jump kick. Oh, kind of. That didn't really work out. All right. Let me try another jump kick. There we go. Axe kick. Right. That did not work out. All right. And he ran away. All fear the feet. Ha ha! Be gone, you. Oh, one more. Okay. All right. Let's see if. Uh, come on, man. What you got? Suga! <laughs> oh, there's still more. Okay. Suga! Okay. <laughs> that was kicking an update six, guys. Pretty wild stuff, huh? Like I said, please wear shoes. I made the mistake earlier, and I kind of cracked my big toe. It hurt, and I don't want that to happen to you guys. <laughs> All right. So let's see. That was new features. Now let's show you guys some new weapons. That way. Whew. How nice Cosby. Thanks for leaving us a drink right here. Whew. Okay, I just need a really fill. All right, that's good. All right. So this little area, uh, weapons area, has been redone a little bit. So now we have an item management weapons locker. I was trying to think of the right word for it. So pretty much you can load weapons there. Well, save presets of you know weapons that you'd like to use. Put them there and it'll follow you throughout the map so that you know you're not always trying to find like, oh man, I left the, the long sword or the claymore somewhere. And you just toss it on there at the home, here. I think it's I think it's anywhere. As long as you put it there, it'll stay with you. And then what we got right here. Oh my gosh. That made my hand bleed. Alright, so what we got right here. This is kind of like a loading area. And with this cool new book, reading is important, kids. I always read books. So now you can just load weapons on the spot. Say, you know, I need a longsword. Bing! Check that out. Even got my own sound effects. Ah! <laughs> so now you got weapons loaded up on the tips of your fingers. And, uh, you know, say, that's not what I need. I need. Some knives. Yeah. And I said knives. Yeah, knives. Like, a lot. Knives. Just like that, guys. And I'll just take these and uh, go over here. I'll be right back, guys. Ow. That was my computer chair. Alright, guys. So on our list of weapons, we have one brand new one. And then two weapons that have been redone. So, these are all made by Cosby. Introducing the mall. All right, and I always do this kind of zoom up on the weapons so you guys... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm still recording like this. You know what? Here. Okay, so I'll just show it to you guys like this. So here we go, guys. This is the mall. It's just a huge, pretty much a gigantic jackhammer. And this bad boy knows how to put the hurt on. And I'll show you. All right, so I don't normally record like this anymore where it's just straight gameplay and me doing a narrative but since this is update 6 and I just want to show off uh, the weapons and everything in these new features and you know just how beautiful they look man so gorgeous um, yeah I'm just gonna play straight uh, gameplay footage just do a quick match and show you guys what's up and uh, of course I do got kicking so we'll of course add that in there and you guys can't oh we can't slide our uh, hands anymore so now you literally just let go and grab a new spot which uh, it's not too bad it's okay. It's doable. So we'll do uh, wave one on medium. Alright. 
Oh, see, I'm sliding again. Alright, who wants to come play? Spartan kick! Let's go, buddy. Guys, when the mall hits, it hits hard. Although, sometimes, the actual swinging doesn't do that well. Wow, you got great reflexes. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it's on my time. <laughs> and there we go. X kick. <laughs> Showing. Oh, see, that should have broke a shoulder, but it's okay. Who's swinging at me? Okay. Oh my gosh, she's still alive! Ah! That was your fault. <laughs> Alright, so the next two weapons is Cosby just redoing two weapons that he already made for us. So this one is... The Claymore. Look at this thing. <laughs> Beautiful design. Oh, it looks so good now. I wonder where he gets like these little Celtic symbols from. I mean, I think I already answered that one. But yeah, so new design. Um, it's a little bit, it looks bigger and it looks heavier. You know, it actually looks heavy compared to the longsword, where the longsword is, you know, just roughly a little bit shorter, but it's skinny. So that, I think it balances where the longsword is long, but lighter. This is just a bit... I think I said that backwards. The long sword is just a little bit longer. This is much longer. And it's heavier. It looks heavy. So I imagine it definitely gives more force in its swings. So... Let's uh, try it out. Oh yeah. And now that they've got this gripping, we can properly half sword. Ay -ay. Just like that, guys. <laughs> and then, of course... So I'm learning my terms correctly. Last time I said that this was half-sorting. This is... Mordhal. Our murder strike. Come here! Okay. But we're gonna just do... Straight gameplay. Come on. What's going on? There we go. Come on. Sit down! <laughs> yeah, I like this new play more. Well, it's really good. Oh, I'll take that. Alright. <laughs> nice. Okay. Alright. One more kick finisher, guys. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, I'll spare you the kick. Alright, so last weapon on the list, guys, is Cosby redid the dual blade staff. There it is, right there. So, previously, the blade, or the shaft, sorry, was a bit shorter. I think it was only just to these bindings right here. So now we've got about, it like, looks like a good what, like six inches on each side. So this adds much more playability in the weapon. It's much, much nicer now. So, I'll go ahead and demo this bad boy for us and see what it's all about. Oh, and if you have... So, medium one. Let's load this up real quick. Oops. So, if you have been following on my channel, I did make an awesome VR staff and the crazy thing. So, it works like a charm, guys. I can't wait to show it to you. But for update 6, sometimes when weapons are a bit out of range, When they're a bit out of range, your hands automatically let go. And I, I can't really um, play with the staff if my hands keep letting go of it. 
Ooh, I was gonna kick him right in the face. Come here. <laughs> oh, there goes the bedtime story, guys. There we go. Kick! Right. Ooh, disco move. Ah, see those touch buttons. It's not very friendly for the vibe. Ooh. Is this you and me, dude? Alright, let's see if I still got this. Ugh. It's a little bit dull. I'm surprised that bounced off his back. But okay, that was the double blade staff, guys. Alright guys, I don't know what part of the world you guys might be in, but here... Whew, that heat is baking right now. Perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, so... Uh, it was just a really short video I wanted to show you guys. Or I hope it was short. And uh, just really showing off what's new in Update 6. Let's see, uh, I missed. Anyway, all right, I didn't need that. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, if you guys are celebrating 4th of July, happy 4th of July. And um, if you guys aren't, then hope you guys have a good summer week to the weekend. Anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. What's up? Leave a comment to say hi or whatever you guys want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.